Hey, this is Mike. I am in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm visiting East Coast Volkswagen. And I'm checking out a 2016 Volkswagen New Beetle with the 1.8 liter turbo, and this is a convertible. So this is a really sweet car, and I'm super excited to show it off to you. And it is in one of my favorite, favorite colors, the awesome blue color. I mean, look at it. You have the blue paint, the shiny blue paint with the tan interior and the matching tan convertible top. It's hard to mess with that. Love, love this car. So let's check it out. Alloy wheels, 17 inch with the chrome, kind of gives you a retro kind of hubcap-y look to it there. It is kind of like a cover, uh, but it looks pretty cool. Then you have that chrome accent across the bottom uh, accenting its length even though it's not that I mean it's a little bit longer wheelbase than the previous models but it just kind of accents that with that chrome there at the bottom let's take a look here in the front have the classic round headlights in the beetle fashion now you notice they're more of a oval shape uh, when you look on this side but here on the front they become more round isn't that cool so they're halogen headlights reflector headlights which illuminate pretty good that's a pretty much a standard now so this is what the key looks like it's the pretty much same key they've used for a long time it's got the lock unlock buttons there uh, the ability to uh, unlock the trunk there see it has the Volkswagen emblem on that side and it actually has a switchblade key uh, but actually you don't even have to use that key because this one has a proximity uh, type system here so as long as I have the key in my pocket I can walk up to the door and lock and unlock the doors by placing my hand there to lock it and to unlock it I put my hand behind the handle it's pretty cool so let's take a look here give you a view of the inside with the top off this looks pretty awesome so here's the inside of the passenger door and you notice a, it's a fairly long door for the size of the vehicle and that helps with entering a, entering and exiting the vehicle but also entering and exiting the back seats so the door is pretty much all tan except for the metallic accents there and then that blue color at the top which just looks amazing to me so here's your threshold you have your adjust manual adjustments on the seats there and it is a leather et type material here with the perforations there uh, they are heated as well and there's your floorboard plenty of legroom absolutely awesome with the legroom here in the front back seats a little bit a lot less but uh you know we'll get to that in a second you have this little compartment here small quick access compartment then you have a lockable glove compartment down here pretty decent size so entering the back seat all you have to do is use this little lever here and then just kind of push the seat up it'll kind of unlatch everything and it kind of gets it out of the way so you can just go ahead and hop in not too bad now the seats are a pretty significantly straight up so you're not reclining in these particular seats but hey you're just cruising around with a top down you do have some uh, a bucket feel to them with those bolsters there on the side but look at the leg room this seat in the front it's all the way back so if you put the seat all the way back either you're gonna have to have really short or small legs or it's made for a car seat or something like that and it does have the latch system for the car seats here in the back as well and the back seat drivers do have a 12 volt power supply and a cup holder there that they can use and also it's close enough to where the front pass the front uh, seat occupants can use them as well manual adjustments for the lumbar support it's right here so while you're driving everybody around in your awesome convertible you might want to get some gas and you can have the passenger pump the gas for you because it is on the passenger side so here it is it opens up like so it goes open quite a ways and then the cap has this little thing on it 
that mounts right there. So that way it completely gets it out of the way. You don't lose your cap and you don't just let it fall down and scratch your paint because I love that shiny blue paint so I don't want anybody to scratch it. Let's take a look here in the back. Now you notice that the convertible top is covered up. Now this, ac this actual cover is stored in the trunk or in the back seat or whatever and it's something you have to manually, manually put on after you lower the convertible top. It's very simple. It's just a matter of latching these front pieces here and then just kind of tucking everything down in. So it's pretty pretty easy. So let's take a look here in the back. You see it has a turbo emblem with some retro style font. And you have a little spoiler there across the back, which looks pretty cool to me. You have two exhaust pipes here close together on the back. So let's go ahead and take a look here in the trunk. And what's neat about this trunk is this is actually the bag for your cover, your convertible top cover. But what's really cool about this, this trunk is that you have pretty decent amount of space. I mean, it's not a huge trunk by no means, um, since it's just kind of a small vehicle, but it's pretty a lot bigger than I thought it was. So you also have a spare tire underneath this cover right here with your spare tire, on, tire and tools. But also you can see that little space there, those seats fold down. So once you fold those seats down, you got a lot more cargo capacity. So that really helps out when you need to pick up something and it just won't fit quite, quite right in the trunk and you don't wanna have a, somebody else to come pick it up for you. You can go ahead and pick it up yourself by lowering the seats and cram it in there. Give you another point of view. You see you have the speakers there on the sides and in the door. So to start the vehicle, all you need is the key inside the vehicle and you put your foot on the brake and there's no ignition switch there. You actually have a button down here. So you just hold the brake, push that button and it starts up your 1.8 liter four cylinder take a look under the hood check out the engine so in the beetle opening up the hood is fairly simple just below the emblem is a little latch under here and you just move it to the right and lift up the hood now you do need a prop to actually hold the hood up so you'll see that right here but there you have it a 1.8 liter turbo charged stratified in injection so it's a um, direct injection engine turbocharged TSI engine 170 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque it's made it to a six-speed main uh, automatic transmission and hopefully yeah I can't really see much under here everything's covered up in plastic uh, the actual turbo is in the back there behind that that stuff there so you can check it out, you can look at it, and you can hear it, but mostly you're seeing this plastic here. Now, the battery is covered up in insulation, which helps with the longevity of the battery. And you have some, some heat reflectors there. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You have the power windows. The front two are uh, basically automatic. The back two are right here they're automatic too so you can see you can they kind of it's pretty interesting the way they roll up and down and so there's that and then you have this storage pocket here your door lock controls and then your side mirror adjustments they are heated side mirrors by the way manual adjustments on the driver's seat as well it does have the lumbar support like so and getting in the back is as simple as pulling that up like I showed you on the other side
Okay, so this is pretty awesome. 2016 Volkswagen New Beetle. Awesome. I love the blue accents that they have on the inside as well. Uh, they can put that color anywhere they want because it looks so awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at the dashboard starting here on the left side. You have your headlight controls. You have an automatic off, automatic, and then your you're basically on your headlights and then you have your dimmer switches here for your interior gauges and then down here we have a little storage cubby so down here just below the headlight switches there's a, a dimmer switch for your interior gauges but this right here is pretty cool this changes your ambient light color so you got red and then you got blue and then white and then off so hopefully I'll have to show you this at night but hopefully you'll be able to see right here there's a just dim enough you can see around this speaker and I'm gonna change it uh, the colors here so there's blue there's red blue white and then off Isn't that pretty cool I'm gonna put it on blue because this is the color of the vehicle and I like blue so that's a pretty cool feature there so let's take a look here at the steering wheel it is a leather wrapped steering wheel with a ever so slight bolstering here. All right, so that blue accents, just can't get over that. So you have some buttons here on the steering wheel. On this side is for your volume for your radio and change through your stations. And then your, your phone button for your parent. Once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, you can answer calls. You can make calls here with the voice recognition system. And here on this side is a button that cycles through your menu system here between your gauges so let's take a look at the gauges on the left you have your rpms also known as tachometer some people get a little bit upset when i don't say the word tachometer um, but it's uh it basically rpm gauge there <laughs> and then uh, on the right you see a big fuel gauge and i really like the way they have a huge fuel gauge because that way you can keep an eye on it and it has a little pump there with the arrow pointing to the side with your fuel door. So that's pretty cool. But right here in the center is your speedometer, which goes up to 160. And I don't think I'd want to go that fast in this vehicle. I don't know if it'll even do it, but it's pretty cool because, you know, everybody likes a speedometer that goes up pretty high. And so right here in the center is what I'm talking about with the gauges, uh, with the little screen. You have the, te the time, your uh, outside temperature and all that stuff, your digital speedometer there in the center. So I'm gonna just kind of scroll through uh, oil temperature shows you just kind of showing you different information that you can get coolant temperature speed warning So you can set that to a specific speed and it'll warn you if you go over that speed uh, travel time uh, Fuel consumption like miles per gallon and your average consumption your range distance and then back to your odometer there and average speed and then there's your digital speedometer again I think that would be my default, would be the digital speedometer. I really like looking at a number versus a gauge sometimes. So just be behind the steering wheel is your turn signal. Also, it has your cruise controls. You have on and off and change through your speeds there and resume. And your windshield wiper controls are on that side. Let's take a look at the center stack. Here at the top, you have a little quick access uh, place to put something. Temporarily, I would say, unless it's like tissues or something, but that might inter interfere with the, your visibility. So this is where you want to just throw something there temporarily, um, something that's not going to be affected by the heat of the sun or something like that. But anyways, so down here is your touch screen, and you have the radio screen. You can choose different radio stations like so, and you have a traditional volume knob and tune through the stations, which is pretty awesome. You have an SD card reader right there, so you can play thousands of songs off of off of a little SD card you have a CD player up here which is uh, interesting in a 2016 model but uh, you can change through your band band like AM FM satellite radio that kind of stuff and then you have media which there's lots and lots of ways of playing music through the sound system uh, you have a Bluetooth audio, which is my preference, I guess. SD card, USB, uh, auxiliary input, and a CD. So you can make those choices there. You can set up your phone on the phone screen there. Voice recognition button there. 
and you can adjust your sound and, and different settings there on the right. Now if you have a smartphone, you can plug it into the USB port down there and this one has the, the like Android Auto and stuff like that, like the smartphone connectivity, which is really awesome. Okay, so down here we have some controls for your climate control. Uh, temperature, fan speed, where you want the air to blow. Uh, you can turn your air conditioning on. Your defroster is there. And your, your rear defroster will also turn on your heated side mirrors. And uh, your heated seats are up here. And it's a three-stage. Four-way emergency flashes are here. So down here is where you'll find your USB and auxiliary inputs there. Some people call that an aux input, but it's uh, aux is just short for auxiliary, so some people get upset when I don't say aux. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a little storage space there. You have a power supply, 12 volts. There's your start button, which we saw before. So let's take a look at the shifter. It's pretty easy to use. It looks pretty good. So you put it in reverse, and the backup camera pops up right there and you'll be able to see behind you while you're backing up it also has little uh, guidelines there now the backup camera is located in the handle you notice i use the handle to lift up the the trunk well that pops open and you get to see the little the little lens will pop out there so you can see behind you and also that keeps it from getting dirty so you know in bad weather or whatever it's going to stay clean uh, because it's completely covered up when you're not using it let's go ahead and put it down in neutral there's drive. This is your normal drive position. It's going to cycle through the six gear ratios for you. And you can go into sport mode, which will emphasize performance over fuel economy. If, if you really want to try to make it to that 160 miles per hour uh, speedometer limit. But you can also go over here to the right of the drive uh, position. And you go into the right position and then you can cycle through the gears manually. So you go up and down through the gears and it will let you know what gear you're in right up here. So you can keep track of that if you want to do that. And of course, at any time you want to go back into drive, you just slide it there to the drive position. There's your parking brake, cup holders. And there's a tiny armrest here. And it's adjustable, but when you lift it up, you lift it up to there and it'll stop. You have to lift, lift it up all the way up and all the way down to re reset your position. Now you can lift it up and get it out of the way if you want to. Now it's kind of small, so you're going to have to, uh, you know, fight your uh, passenger over the armrest if they want to use it. But this armrest opens up and it, have a, it has a little tiny storage pocket there if you want to use that. So have some little bit of storage pockets underneath the armrest if you want to use those as well. Okay, so your rear view mirror is an auto dimming rear view mirror and you can turn that feature on and off here. So up here is uh, quite a few buttons. You have these tap lights, so you can turn on and off lights individually there. You can turn them all on uh, using this center button here. You can put it in the center position to where when the door opens, the lights will turn on, or you can even turn that feature off if you need to right there. And up here, it, you have some uh, roadside assistance buttons, SOS for emergencies, and information buttons as well. And this is the magic button for your convertible top, which I'll show you that in a second. So over here is your visor with mirrors, but no lights in that particular one. Let's see if this one has. Nope. No lights in that one, but it does have the mirror. So let's take a look at the visibility in the back with the convertible top down. And you can see it has a little bit of an obstruction just because the convertible top is there. but uh, not too bad. I mean, you know, like a really low, low vehicle or something, you might have a little bit of a trouble seeing it. Not backing up because you don't have to worry about that because you have the backup camera. And of course, your side mirrors help out with that. So if you have the cover in place and you want to go ahead and remove the cover and put the convertible top up, it's pretty simple. There's this little lever here and you can unlatch. I'm gonna to try to do this one-handed. You can unlatch that and you just kinda of untuck the little thing here all the way around. 
and it's pretty secure once you tuck it in. It doesn't feel like it when you're first putting it in, um, but you just untuck it there and untuck it like so. And then you can unlatch this side. It's a little bit easier doing it one-handed. I mean two-handed. See if I can get my other hand there to help. There we go. So that's unlatched. So you'll notice that it is all tucked in here. And this will kind of help you undo it. So now it's just kind of laying there. You can lift it up and you can put it in the trunk or wherever. So after you take off the soft cover, you are left with this. And it's basically just the folded up convertible top. So now it's all down here, hill, raising and lowering the top. So I'll show you. So you get in and the magic button up here, just move it down. Let's go ahead and move the camera so you can see better. You just hold the button and it kind of does its thing. You keep holding it until it beeps and it beep it'll say convertible top closed okay so let's say you're in the vehicle and you want to lower the convertible top you rate push the button up here push that button up first it's going to roll the windows down if they're up but if the windows are not up then it'll just go ahead and lower the top down in that position and it'll beep and let you know convertible top is open that it's finished with this uh, operation.